Hello, Internet, and welcome to another episode of the Queer Chronicles of the Strixhaven Quartet here on Game Nights. I am your host and your Dungeon Master, Van, and we are here to play some cat dang Dungeons and Dragons. Very excited about it, because we're picking up at the top of a very exciting combat round in which everyone is locked in a room in the dark. Super exciting, very fun. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on on the channel this week. Our social medias are down below our faces. They're also in the chat currently. They're also in our Discord. Uh, you can follow us. You can subscribe to our YouTube. You can join our Discord. And come hang out with us where we post memes and talk about games and music and all kinds of stupid shit that we can't stop hyper-focusing on. Uh, it's great. It's a fun place to be. Come hang out. <clears throat> um, our next live stream after this is going to be tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time uh, for a new episode of Neon Souls, our season four mini-series uh, where we just transitioned over to playing Scum and Villainy, uh, the Star Wars space-inspired uh, Forged in the Dark system. We're having a good time doing crime over there as well. Uh, Val runs that one. I'll let them talk about it. And then we've got other streams uh, throughout the week and over the weekend. Um, that's all I have to say, I think, until we begin. So I'm going to let my friends here introduce themselves, tell you who they are, where you can find them on the internet, and who they are playing today, starting, as always, with Sid. Hey, I'm Christina Sid. You can find me on the internet at Greek Sid. I'm here Mondays, Tuesdays, and Saturdays. Um, and then, uh, for a couple weeks, starting this Sunday... Uh, over on Twitch.tv slash Indoor Adventures. We are testing out the Fight with Spirit system from Story Brewers, my faves. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's sports anime. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, I have to finish downloading all of the card decks. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm excited. Uh, and yeah, just uh, wanted, to, wanted to check out a new system by my fave publishers. So come check that out with some friends. Um, tonight, I am playing Giselle. Uh, Giselle is our uh, rogue slash warlock. Thank you, Sid. Uh, next up is Rach. Hi, I'm Rachel. Rachel is brother. Rachel is master with the Ethan Mullet Seven S. Uh, I'm here on Tuesdays and every other Wednesday, and I'm on Hack Rocket Sleep on Sundays, playing some other D and D five E high level bullshit. Um, and tonight I'm playing Soraya Vale, the Circle of Wildfire Druid, who is also a water genasi. Words are hard today. My brain is fried. Thanks, Rach. Uh, next up is Val. Hello, everybody. I'm Val. You can find me at the Kraken's Crown, lurking around the internet. I am here a few days a week playing running games, uh, like Van said. I run a game tomorrow of uh, Neon Soul Season 4, playing Scum and Villainy. I mean, that pretty much covers all of it. Uh, so come join us for that. Uh, and uh, other stuff throughout the week. I also run a game of Blades in the Dark on Saturdays and on Mondays. Uh, the Dragon Age TTRPG Red Jenny, which you just had an episode of last night, uh, heading into our penultimate arc, I think, of the of the campaign. So, just a brief mini series. Uh, that is it uh, tonight. I'm going to be playing Law Justitia, uh, who is a Tiefling uh, Battlesmith Artificer. Thank you, Val. And finally, we have Lolly. What's up, y'all? It's me, Wally, your favorite non-binary and best friend on the internet. You can find me on the internet, the social media, by looking up the name W A L L E one three two, just like the cute little Disney robot. You can find out all the stuff that I'm in, the stuff that I do. Like here, you can find me here Mondays and Tuesdays playing games with these wonderful people. And this month, going into next month for the next couple weeks, I am over at Hack Recklessly every Thursdays playing some mystery business. It's a Scooby Doo based TTRPG. A lot of fun. I play a tiny little dog who's scared of his own shadow. And then on Sunday, Sid talked about it. I'm gonna be in that game playing some playing some sports anime antics. So that's gonna be pretty dope. So check all that out. But today, I am playing Damien, the College of Swords Bard, powered by anime and the music in his heart. All right, and with that, I think we're gonna jump right back into it. 
uh, as the room around you shakes once again, uh, you hear muffled this time by the door a bit, a sinister laugh as the Dracolich Zixokrishka has shut you into Hamukai's tomb. Uh, but it's not her turn. It's Giselle's turn. Yeah, fireball, Giselle. Yes, so you did use your reaction, but <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a bully. If you didn't cast the spell, you don't lose the spell. Okay. I'm an asshole, but I'm not a bully. <laughs> what would you like to do? Well, I don't have anyone to cast it on. And I don't want to, like, just trap us all here in this room with the dead guy or the, the, the guy in a, in, a, in a magical sleep or whatever. So I'm going to get very, very, very angry. And I'm going to uh, bonus action dash toward the stairs. Uh, oh, which actually makes me go even farther. Oh no, I did move last turn because I went behind the thing. Damn it! I can't use my feline agility. Yes, you did. Move. Um. So I shall. Um. Let me see. Oh, five, ten. Um. Let I guess I'm getting right behind our uh, a Sapphire Sentinel friend. Okay. Just all goes um, sprinting. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard sliding over the sarcophagus, sprinting up the stairs. Captioner did not know what to do with that. It just went. Yeah, no, it's. I, I went. Uh, I just went. I went full. Uh, <laughs> Question <along>. mark? Question <laughs> mark? Uh, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I think now she shall <sighs> I think now she will ready an action. Um, okay. <laughs> a really stupid idea. I'm not gonna do it, but I feel like I should share it with everybody. You have to. That evil laugh made me so happy. You have to now. Yeah. I was like, "What's she planning?" I want to get set up to to hide and then get within touching distance of the dragon and cast plate shift on her. I mean. If you can pull it off, oh I say go for it. <laughs> I'm just going it's down my list. I'm like, fireball, lightning bolt, idea. won't do anything. Oh, God. Uh, and then plane shift. I'm not going like, to tell you no. <laughs> not the well, worst idea. Not a bad idea, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm assuming legendary resistances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I figure she... she we she make beefy. her use those. She, she, ah. she beefy. Um... Although it is a charisma save, so I don't know how charismatic a big old pile of bones is, but I don't know. Um, no, I'll go ahead and ready an action to the a fireball. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, because that bonus action dashed, so. Um, but I, no, because I went bonus action dash at a speed of 30, which means I can go 60, which means... I could go a little further for my actual just movement, right? Can you? Because dash, dash doubles movement, yeah? yeah? So 30 feet of regular movement, 30 feet of dashed movement. No, no, that's all I can do. Yeah. Unless I used my actual... No, because I have to ready the action. No, okay, I'm done. All right. Damien. Okay. Um, the only thing I can do, because those doors are closed, so I'm just going to move my 40 feet. 
Thingy man goes sprinting up the stairs. Oh boy. Um and we don't know that the doors are closed yet, do we? Uh, I mean you heard you heard them shut and it got very dark in here, so I think you can figure it out probably. <laughs> okay, I think you um, guys can put that together. You no, know then I'll 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 dash because there's nothing really I can do for hold spells or anything. So I'll use my dash and just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and try to see if I can see how that door is looking. Dark. That's the door closed. And closed. Yeah. Alright, that's, that's all I can do. There you go. Confirmation. We love it. Yeah. Soraya. I'm moving up too. Now I'm just, I'm also gonna dash. <laughs> so I can get up there. I don't want to be left alone in this room with the fucking sarcophagus. <laughs> Even if he's a nice guy, that's it's still kind of creepy. He's still a little weird in here, you know? I don't know him. Feels weird to just hang out with this coffin. Yeah, I can get up next to Damien. Okay. Beep. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. Law. Uh, I deleted my initiative order sheet, uh, that I made for last time. Does the, uh, does the dragon go after me? The dragon goes or after everybody. That... Oh, sorry. The Sapphire Sentinel is what I meant. Yes. It okay. goes the four of you and then the Sentinel and then the dragon. Okay. Do you want the order again? Uh, actually, yeah, that'd be great just to have. I know. Well, it's... too bad. It just happened. Should have been paying attention. Next. Okay. Well, I'm I know it's kidding. Giselle, Damien. Soraya, <laughs> me, and then the sentinel, and then the dragon. Yeah, sentinel, dragon, perfect. Uh, hmm. Look at you, problem solving. Yeah, uh, I'm going to move up. Uh, this is the funny part of turn-based combat because they just dashed past me while I was standing here, and then I, <laughs> and now I move up in front of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, you have to remember it's all happening simultaneously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow, uh, as they approached, uh, Law did move up around the corner here, and the door is closed. Five, ten, fifteen, uh, twenty. Can I see? Can I tell whether the doors are magically sealed or if they are just closed? Uh, you can roll. I'd love to roll. Yeah, hit me, hit me with an Arcana check. Are you what taking Dutch with you? Oh yeah, I was about to move Dutch. Ooh, geez, I rolled bad. That's a twenty-three. Uh, I'll say you can see. No, you can't. Um, you put a hand to the door, and I think you do feel this faint, like humming. Okay. But you can't see anything. Interesting. Is there a handle on the side of the door? Uh, no, these doors open in. Hmm. The ultimate uh, challenge. Yeah. So I've nothing placed in front of you. <laughs> yeah, a door. A door. Yeah. The thing uh, we overthink every time. Yep. Is there... So there's nothing to grip onto on this side to try to pull the door open. No, it is flat. I don't think I have anything for that. Guess I'll I, die. Uh, <laughs> could I try to like jam Snicker Snack into the crack in the door and try to like pull it open? Uh, sure. I don't see why you couldn't do that. I don't know if Snickersnack is going to be real fond of it, but... <laughs> do, do you want to fight this dragon? He's magical. He just, he's just screaming, Put me in there! <laughs> Put me in there! Put me in there! Yeah. I'll stab that bitch from here! <laughs> just to pry... To shove a sword in and pry the door open. I'm pretty... I'm feeling pretty strongly about athletics with disadvantage. <laughs> Hear me out. Uh, I get to attack using my intelligence 
because of my artificing. Can I replace my strength with my intelligence instead? I don't think how smart you are is going to affect how able your arms are to <laughs> use basic leverage. Uh-huh. Did you, simple uh, tools. Fair. It was a it was a Did you already use the bardic inspiration I gave you? I don't I don't believe I did. Okay. You want a during... potion of storm giant strength? <laughs> That's tempting. Uh, <laughs> we still have it. Still if have I it. chug, okay, Trash wait. Like... Bonus act. Hold on. Bonus action to use that. Do you have? Who has it though? If Soraya uh, has, I have it. it. Could I take it from Soraya? Object interaction. I have a. I'm hasted. I could use my. Ha could I use my hasted action to take it from her? Yeah. That's uh, okay. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, yeah, I'll. Hasted action. We've take... held on to it for two seasons. Yeah, this season. potion is so skunked. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what's Hasted in this? What is in the storm giant strength potion? A, a, so a, 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 a hill giant. Right I think it's a big toenail. I think it's the giant. toenail of the giant. Oh, yeah. So the storm giant's toenail. So is is the... it that? Wait, is the storm? Is it the storm giant's toenail that we it's just bought? Sliver of fingernail from a storm giant. Oh, fingernail. Uh, I wonder. That's still the... nasty. That's is it the fingernail of the of transparent liquid that we just murdered? Uh, yeah, maybe can that's I, how old this fucking potion is. Can I drink it? You can drink it. Drinking is a bonus. Your strength Action. score changes to 29 for one hour. Woo! I may have to start using strength instead of intelligence with my attacks. <laughs> it's because it lets uh, you choose. You don't have to just defend it's, I can right? instead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's an option. What? Cool. How? Hold on. Is it twenty nine? Is a plus fourteen? No. Hold on. Five is ten. Plus another four. It's a plus nine. I'm gonna look. Base strength. I think it's plus nine. Yeah. Because a thirty would be plus ten. I was looking to see if I could override it but it doesn't let me override <laughs> the actual score uh 29 yes it's a plus nine. Oh, yes it does so, okay. it should let 29. you override it temporarily yeah i just found i just didn't have the right spot i was i went to a reddit link to find the chart that goes up to a strength of 30 and all of the comments just said pivot <laughs> That does increase my attack modifier to plus seventeen. Okay, uh, I'm going cool. to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to open the door. Okay, make me an athletics check with disadvantage. And then, I think, did we? Because it didn't take us long to get down here. Could I still have Damien's uh, inspiration that he gave me from the uh, from the storm giant fight? This lasts for like ten minutes. Ten right? minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. All you uh, did was walk in here and walk down some stairs looking at painting. It's not like it took you an hour. All right. Yeah, 10 minutes. Disadvantage. Yeah, that's fine. That is a 25. Okay. Uh, wait, why did it roll? No, it did roll plus 16. What did I just roll? I rolled Arcana. Sorry. Uh, that's an 18. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to roll. What's your uh, Bardic Inspiration? Uh, D12. Plus 11. Uh, it's a 29. Okay. I was going to make it a 25, so that's fair. Um, yeah, Law, you, <laughs> Soraya, go digging through your bag, handing over the potion. Law, you snatch it, drink it. It's disgusting. It's so gross. It's like two years old. It's just been sitting in Soraya's backpack for like two straight years. Um, it's nasty, but it still works, and you feel... Uh, like a tingling in your skin and your hair is sort of like the essence of a storm giant. Uh, we did a lot of lightning today. I'm having yeah. a that great time. It's my favorite thing. has all the thing. crusty stuff on it. Oh, it's oh, disgusting. Oh, this stuff loading It's like a five-hour like, energy that you've been keeping in your glove box. Gross. And it's just as likely to give you a heart attack. My um, armor just starts to strain as your law just gets like yoked. Uh, yeah, law gets yoked. Uh, there's a little bit of lightning in their eyes. There's a weird residue left in the bottle, but you don't want to think about that right now. 
we'll do some no. science on that later. You no, know, uh, when you don't mix your protein shake really yeah, well, this was... and that film at the bottom, yeah. you taste it. When you I was just it. thinking this is a that. giant like, protein shake. There's a little uh, grain shake. in it. Uh, yeah, it's like a drink should be crunchy. <laughs> Drinks should yeah. not be crunchy. Spit out the, toe, the fingernail, uh, and yeah. Shove Snickersnack, and a Snickersnack just... Yeah! <laughs> you, uh go to pry the door open and one of them shifts uh, and you have created enough leverage to kind of push them apart. Uh, you shove the the one door the rest of the way open. Uh, that was, okay. That was a bonus action to, it was an action to take the potion. It was a bonus action to drink it. And then it's going to be an action to open the door. Cool. Uh, I, I'll definitely do that. Uh, <laughs> and like the Kool-Aid man, I bust down the door. Uh, and I think I still have 5, 10, 15. Uh, I still have like 45 more feet of movement. Uh, so you see I'm... the Dracolich still kind of covered in bits of crystals, staring down with its one glowing blue eye. <laughs> and I just say, knock, knock. Uh, and I run. Uh, I'm going to ruin the rest of my movement. So it's... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. I'm just going to move over to, like, this side of the dragon. Okay. Just so we're not all in a line. Okay. So you skirt around one of the columns on the side coming up to the dragon's right flank, yes. sort of. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I can't order Dutch to do anything uh, because I use my bonus action. Uh, but Dutch can still move on okay. his own initiative. Uh, so we'll 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, right there. Okay. Right up next to Giselle. Yes. And behind the Sapphire Sentinel. I don't know if I said, you, he's technically an ally, so you guys can move through his space. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know so, if I yeah. said that before, but just full clarification. Uh, Anything else? I'm just double checking one thing, because I think, cheers my initial account, takes a turn immediately after mine. Uh, uses reaction on its own. Only takes the dodge action. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay. It is the Sentinel's turn. And... Excuse me, the Pollen is trying to murder me today. It's insane. It's right bad now. It's really today, bad. yeah. Uh, the Sapphire Sentinel is going to continue. Y'all have never seen this guy move so fast in your life. Uh, goes, here's the door, scrape open. Law goes charging after you uh, through the corridor, sort of j like sh gently hurting Sarai and Damien to the side with huge stone hands so it doesn't crush you. Uh, it goes running through. It's got... Uh, and it is going to, it's going to stop there, but it's tall enough it can see the rest of the way up the stairs. Uh, and Damien and Sarai, now that the light has sort of come back into the room, you just see the Sentinels goes around the corner, just reach out one, like, massive stone hand towards the dragon. And he's going to try something. Whoa. Oh. Cast haste on the dragon. Get her ass, big buddy. <laughs> no. Uh, actually, the opposite. Um, she is gonna have to use a legendary resistance to succeed because oh. she rolled like shit on the save. Um, but Law, I think you see this because it kind of falls. This there's just this little bit of like light blue magic that uh, emanates out of the the golem's hand, almost kind of falling like grains of sand on top of the dragon. And you see for just a second her movement slow, um, but she shakes it off, and it does not work. <clears throat> but he tried really hard. Appreciate it, buddy. That's not his fault. Uh, and that is going to be it for the Sentinel's turn. It is the dragon's turn. Oh, and boy, are you right there. Yep. Next mm. to her, and you just sassed her really bad. You you hear this, like, rattling, like, 
kiss as she turns briefly away from the sentinel and she's gonna attack you okay so you have an attitude she doesn't like it <laughs> that's uh, fair Few one she's gonna kind of snake Thanks down on to no one. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna snake down and try to bite you okay it's a 25 to hit shield okay yeah shield what does that make your armor class uh 27 okay uh, and she's going to make two, Sorry, 28. 28? Mm. Two claw attacks against you. That's a 26. That's a 29. Damn. I, I avoided two of them. I'll, yeah, so the claw attack one. is going to hit you. Definitely, if you had to pick one, Yeah. I'd pick this one. Uh, it's going to be 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. Um, that, I can't fail my concentration check if it's below, like, 24 damage. So do you want me to still roll it? Or... No, that's fine. I mean, not if you're okay. going to auto-succeed. Yeah. I've got a plus 11 to con saves, so. Okay. No, I okay. Uh, But that's all she can do. I'm going to stay where she is. Uh, bringing us back to Giselle. <sighs> it's been a week, and I have a lot of really harebrained ideas. Do it. But enough wherewithal to discuss them with you all first before I attempt <laughs> them. But we're going to agree with you anyway. I don't know. I've attempted to cast a goddamn fireball like three times in a row now. And now we're bunched together. So we may have to hold off on that. However, I can disguise self at will. Do I change myself into the prince that we've seen in the pictures? to attempt to distract her. Just to fuck with her? Just, well, I, I I could roll a performance and try to get her to believe it's me, that, that I'm that I'm him. I mean, if you can pull it off. That would be pretty crazy. I will say the consequence of that seems like it's gonna be her attacking you. Uh, yeah, that's my worry. If, you, if that's your goal is to like draw her aggro, then I say go for it. I kind of want to drag her, draw, draw her aggro to get her in the hallway, and then bottleneck. Okay, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. She's not gonna fit in this hallway. Oh. It's a pretty big circle. Yeah, it is a big I was circle. wondering. I was wondering that too. Yeah, I don't think she fits in. Yeah. I assume Got in her. It. If she has the ability to like shift, is that maybe in her like more do. flesh covered days? Yeah. She could have. Though I don't know if she can't change shape into something else. I don't know what her end game here is. Uh, she's never going to be able to get down there. But she is or several just... millennia old. Yeah, I figured she's got a plan. So. That's my thought, or I pop around the corner because I have enough movement to kind of get in between the legs of the sentinel and I just pop off a fireball. I don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah. either. Get some damage nope. on her. Yeah. And if you need a distraction plan later, you hide, transform yourself, and then pop out, scare the shit out of her. Like the ghost of Hamakai, and then hide again. <laughs> All of these things are very true. Okay. <laughs> like, bitch, right. I'm alive! <laughs> Just like, I'm duck behind a pillar. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get between the Sapphire Sentinel's legs. Um, could I, therefore, bonus action hide? Once. Okay. 
unless this, unless he moves somewhere else. Just this once as a yes. treat. Yeah. I imagine you do have a little bit of cover from the stairs going up. Too, yeah, you so are also yeah. down the stairs, so that's helping too. But yeah, I, I think between those two things, you could definitely hide. That's an at twenty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sort of fucking god. What's the total? Oh, uh, ridiculous. Uh, total is 33. She rolled a natural one. <laughs> okay. Can't legendary resistance that away, I don't think. Woo! You're hidden. Um. Finally, I can actually roll for somebody who may be able to see you. <laughs> she fucks it. Uh, well, she's only got one eye. Just the one eye. Uh, so yes, uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, fireball. Okay. Um, how high? I, either I'll put it high up toward the ceiling, or I'll put it far enough back that we're not going to hit law with it. Okay. Yeah, you can put it like. If you even just put it like to her. I mean, you're right, her left, but to that. The cool. bottom side where the columns are, I think that sort of in that back corner, that would be fine. Gorgeous. So it is a DC 19 dexterity save, which she has disadvantage on. Okay. It's not enough. Mm, I think she'll just take this one. 12d6 coming her way. Hit it. 42 points of fire damage. Oh. oh, you know what? Should have just been a regular save for her. That's okay. I didn't read it. Oh. Don't worry about it. Uh oh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'll remember that for next time. I know she's going to take the full damage from that as Law, you see again the bead come <laughs> twice for the second time today. Uh, the bead of Giselle's fireball come through the crack in the door <laughs> and blasts the side of a skeleton. Uh, yeah, and she, uh, she rattles as there's some like scorch marks go up the bone and the force like knocks some more of the crystal away. Anything else? Get wrecked, bitch! That, that'll be my turn. <laughs> Damien. Okay, so I have a nice little view of this chick, but I'm gonna go inside because I don't want to be stuck in this hallway, so. All right, Damien finishes running up the stairs. I'm gonna stop right here. Stop on the opposite side of the room as law. And I am going to, she needs to make a, uh... oh, really? Is that long? Why is this okay, cool. Um, she needs to make a, um... oh, it's not a save. I just attack. All right. And I attack with steel wind strike as I pull out my sword and I run my finger off of it, turning it into like a lit blade of light as I swing it down. Okay. Her. <clears throat> so it's what? plus eight. Ooh, okay, so that is a 23. That'll hit. Okay, so that is... That was level 7. So that is... 6d10. Uh, 33 points of magical slashing damage. Oh, hey. And as you bring down the steel wind strike, the sword clattering against her bones. Anything else? That's it. That's all I can do. Soraya. Uh, I'm gonna do a movement. Okay. I've got to find the window. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm gonna go there. 
Running up the stairs, posted up, up the behind stairs. another column. Affirmative. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus action, speak the command word for my animated shield. Okay. And action will be to summon my wildfire spirit right in her face. <laughs> well, not right in her face. I want it all, like on her side. <laughs> Around. Like not immediately. Like on her nose. No, I'm but just kidding. Um. A, little, a little guy on the map. A little flame guy uh, a little, on the same side as a Damien. Guy. There's the guy. But not within five feet of Damien for reasons. Uh, I can spell. <laughs> like. Eh. You can move it too if you want. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That's a good spot. Um, a Normidian. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, and she needs to make a dex saving throw. Okay. As it pops into existence. Pop. I just, she probably makes a more of a roaring flame noise. <laughs> As a fire springs to life, that's a 24. Well, that will pass. So she's going to take half of okay. 2d6 fire damage. So half of seven. We'll call that four. Four fire damage. Uh, it's crazy. She doesn't notice that <laughs> happening. Well, poor little guy. Yeah, she doesn't. He's just, try. she doesn't He's just trying. He's doing his best That's over it. there. Making an effort. <laughs> Still, listen, four hit points can mean death at any point. Yep. He doesn't pack a big punch, but he's just there to keep me alive since I'm only at 52 hit points. <laughs> Yeah, you got pretty busted up by the falling rubble I got last time. Pretty busted up by that falling rubble. Uh, so that's <laughs> he's my insurance policy currently, so I don't die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's Anything his else? Goal. Nope, that's it. Uh, that is going to be the layer action. Oh, and boy, which one does she want to do? Uh, yeah. She, uh, turns her head, uh, kind of looks down at you. Damien looks back to Law, who just evaded most of her attacks, and you see the, uh, the, the sort of, like, lightning in her one remaining eye flare. Um, Soraya, next to you in the corner, there appears, uh, this crackling sort of ball of lightning and then law uh down to your left in the other corner this other crackling ball of lightning appears and then the two connect in a line and i need the two of you to make a dexterity saving throw <laughs> oh, she summons boy. her lightning okay and i just took i do have advantage on deck saves with haste. Uh, it's a 22. Okay, that'll succeed. That was an 18. It just succeeds. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, little dice. So that would be 40 lightning damage. Reduced to 20, reduced to 10. Oof. Thank you, lightning resistance. Okay. Lord, it's your turn. Alrighty. Well, it's time. Uh, I will... Assuming she's still within melee with me. Yes, yeah. Um, she's I'm got going... a range of 10 feet. Of I'm going to make three attacks against her. Okay. With Snickersnack and my beefy arms. Let's see throw intellect, throw intellect aside and attack with pure strength. Uh, it's 36 to hit. Yeah. Uh, we want to roll the others. That's a 33 to hit. Yeah. And a 33 to hit. Yep. Uh, first one is going to be... 18 points of slashing. 
second one is 16 points of slashing. Uh, how many charges do I have left? I'll throw an arcane jolt on this one. Sure. Uh, how close is uh, within 30 feet of the target. Okay. I'm not going to do additional damage on this one. I'm going to do the healing effect. Okay. Uh, so she'll take axe damage, 24 points of slashing. Uh, and I'm going to use the healing effect, a creature within, I can cause a creature within 30 feet to regain 46 hit points. Uh, and so since Soraya is kind of beefed up, I'll mm -hmm. give her uh, 14. Okay. Uh, and let me mark that used. That is the end of my, that's it for my turn. Uh, I'm bonus actually going to have Dutch finish his long journey. Uh, He's doing it. <laughs> so it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 here. And then I'll bonus action and have him dash. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15. It's going to move right there to protect Damien. Okay. Uh, and that is it. All right. Um, it is the Sentinel's turn. And seeing as his magic didn't work, he's going to do things the old-fashioned way. Uh, it's not the one. And seeing the recreation of an exciting moment in history before you, he's going to make his do attacks. a 25 and that's a 12 that's bad but the first one hits and she's gonna take well it's not that good uh 25 magical bludgeoning damage as the sentinel uh just raises one huge fist and just cracks right into her uh, snout, like a, a crack sort of forming and running up the bone. Uh, and that is all he can do. Um, at the end of her turn, you all hear a rumbling sound. I've been uh, so waiting for the at the end of your turns to come up. It's been causing me yeah. anxiety spikes every time one of us ends our turn. There is a rumbling from above you, um, like something heavy falling to the ground. And you all sort of look up as dust begins to fall from the ceiling, and you realize it's not just one rumbling it is more like a pounding on stone and then all at once uh the ceiling on one side over near the stairs law near you uh begins to crumble away as something very heavy falls through it i need you to make a dexterity saving throw okay That's a natural 20, 24. You jump out of the way as plummeting through the ceiling is a massive dragon tortoise. Yes, let's go. Oh my God. Damien just yells, let them fight. Who roars uh, and begins to go after Zeke Sokrishka, his mortal enemy. Because okay, I have he... a completely unrelated question going forward. Yeah. 
now that I've seen him, can I can we make, can I wild shape into a smaller dragon tortoise at some point? You can wild shape into a tortoise. <laughs> can it be but a tortoise it... that looks like a dragon tortoise? Yeah, it can look, like, yeah, look like a little a little um, girl if you want. Yeah, I, I want to wild that. shape it. I don't. Oh, I want to see if I can find a CR level for a large tortoise yes. or something. You absolutely can, uh, now that you have, have seen him. You cannot replicate his powers necessarily, um, but uh, you can look like him. Chat got a little sneak peek because I had to rename him. Uh, and he is not going to use his breath weapon in here because it's a cone, uh, and that seems like it would be bad for everyone involved. Uh, yeah. But he is going to make three attacks against Zixokrishka as this huge hole opens up in the ceiling and you can again see the uh the, what was the mausoleum above you is now the uh the sandstorm that you can see that was above the uh uh the mastaba in the sky let's make three attacks he told you he'd come with you Okay. Two misses and a hit with a bite is gonna make a dent here. That's 10. Uh, 20 plus. Uh, it's 34 damage. That's all rule is going to do um, as he roars and you see this like crackling energy kind of at the back of his throat. Um, and that's his turn. And at the end of his turn. Uh, and somebody else shows up from our past. <laughs> yeah, freaking Quintilis Old walks stink the door. barrels through! <laughs> Old stink barrels in. <laughs> He's an ancient camel. Uh, but That's no, different from normal camels. Take a, uh, she's going to use one of her legendary actions. Um, as you see, Zixokrishka kind of turn, and in the space uh, next to Olgrul, and then in the space next to the Sentinel, uh, extends her like bony wings with what's left of the the leather uh, embedded with crystal hanging between them. She's going to make a wing attack. I mean, everybody except. 10, 15. Uh, Giselle and Soraya, you're just out of it. So everybody else is going to make the save. What kind of save? A dexterity saving throw. My luck had to end at some point. That's uh, a 20. It's 12. Dutch needs to do one as well. Oh, shit, yeah. I realized I was muted. Uh, those both fail. And the Sentinel fails as well. Uh, Dutch fails. That's a 19. Okay. Uh, you're all going to take... Uh, 24 bludgeoning damage and you're knocked prone. So that is Law, the Sentinel, Dutch, and Damien. They're all knocked prone. Ogle succeeds. Uh, and at the end of this action, Zixokrishka beats her wings once, twice, three times and shoots up through the hole in the ceiling into the sky. That is niche. She's still there. All but right. She's not here. Find me in the sky. She's over there now. Which is technically directly above this area. That is gonna be Giselle's turn. Oh, shit. 
You were asking how she was going to fit in the hallway? She's not. She's gonna bust underground, y'all. I should have stayed behind the goddamn sarcophagus! Um... Let's see... I think... We're gonna... Um, okay. So she has gone straight up in the air. How can we see her from the giant uh, Zixu Krisha shaped hole she's made in the ceiling? <laughs> yes, you can see her through the uh, the, the, cr <laughs> the crater. <laughs> the absolute okay. hole that all girl blasted through the mausoleum. Yeah, the, ma the ceil there was a mausoleum on the level above you. Now mm. you can see the sandstorm, so who knows how mm -hmm. much damage this bad boy did to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, uh, she flew up. Let me see how high she can go, actually, with that. Cause it's only... Okay, so she went 40 feet up from where she was standing, so she's not that far up. Marvelous. Um... Can I see her from where I'm at on the stairs, or would I have to get closer? Uh, I think you would have to come into the room. So you okay. still have ceiling above you. Got it. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, I'm going to get just enough in to see her. Um... Maybe, uh, put an umbrella up or something, everybody, uh, and, uh, I'm just gonna cast another one, uh, straight up at her. Another, uh, another, 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 another fireball. Fireball. Okay. She's gonna try to save. Might surprise you to learn this bag of bones, this dexterity isn't her top. It's not so great? Aww. Dad. Uh, that's fine though. That's a uh, that's a twenty. Okay, so she does succeed, so she'll take half. But okay. Boop. uh, thirty nine. So say twenty. Nineteen twenty. Ooh, y'all put out some big damage in this uh yeah the fireball again shoots up into the sky and blasts you see uh some of the leather uh embedded with crystal in her wing like starts to uh, like singe and burn away uh, as she screeches from her spot in the sky um and yeah i guess shouting out to the others she can't get in this way she's going to plunge down should we get back to the sarcophagus? I think we should try to kill her before she gets there. Okay. I have an idea. I trust you do it. Um. Okay. It's gonna get <laughs> real hot up there. Anything else? She said? Uh, I shall... Bonus action. Hide. Okay. I you could do that pretty easily down here at this point. Yep. No, the natural one though. Ooh. It's the same dice that gave me the nat twenty earlier. Go fuck yourself. Dice give us. And the dice take it away. Yeah, she rolls a twenty six. So I think she. She, uh, I mean, I don't know that she knows. You can only have gone so many places running that direction, so I think she kind of tracks her movements. Uh, but that's okay, because it's Damien's turn. You're mutant. There we go. Um, I'm prone, so I stand up first. Sure do. I, do. I 
look up through that hole and I yell, Gixel Kreisha, you get back down here right now as I cast Psychic Lance and it needs to make an intelligence save. Okay. Because I don't need to see her. It's like calling your dog who just ran through the screen door like, Gixel Kreisha, you get back <laughs> here right now. Right now. Uh, that's a 24. Oh yeah, it makes it. But um, on a field save, it just takes half damage. Okay. So it's so So, 26 by half, so that's uh, 13. Okay. Takes 13 with psychic. Psychic damage uh, as the lance uh, spears into her mind. Uh, she's ready for it this time and <clears throat> shakes it off. That's it. That's all I can do. Soraya. So, hear me out. Hearing. If I was to cast a spell that was a cloud, sure. it says it's a 20 foot radius sphere centered on a point within range, which is 150 feet of me. That okay. doesn't need to be on the ground, right? Uh, I mean, does it say it needs to be on the ground? No. Then no. It's an incendiary cloud. Uh, no, I mean, I would argue that it would be weird if a cloud just had to be on the ground. That's what I thought. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure before I burned my highest level spell slot yeah. um, to light her on fire in the air. No, <laughs> I tell you this, I'm not, if something is, like, not gonna work yeah. at that level, if it fundamentally is, like, no, the spell doesn't work that way, I'll just tell you. Oh, and so the, I just, uh, I also have a logistics question about the sandstorm. Yeah. It's not windy inside the circle. Right? Like, where we were outside is not, like, the same way that it was windy in the sandstorm thing, right? No. Uh, you, okay. You can still hear the wind and the and the lightning and everything going down, but no, it is, uh, the wind is sort of calm in, in this area. Okay. Because that would, I wouldn't cast it's it if it like was windy. eye of the storm yes. territory. Okay. Well, uh, then I'm going to cast incendiary cloud on the point within ranges in the middle of Zeke's Okrishka. Okay, well, I, what does that do? A swirling cloud of smoke shot through with white hot embers appears raven, chill, um, on she a point cares. within range. Cool. <laughs> the cloud spreads around corners. It is heavily obscured. It lasts for the duration or until a wind of moderate or greater speed, at least 10 miles per hour, disperses it. When the cloud appears, each creature in it must make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. The creature takes 10d8 fire damage on a fail save. Okay. Or have his match on a successful one. That's fine. <laughs> Dex is not great. Uh, that is a 25. Well, that's going to save. So I guess she's going to take half of 50. Okay, so 25 fire damage. Uh, once again, the cloud sort of surrounding her. And you, how big is the cloud? Uh, it is 20 feet uh, cylinder. Okay. No, 20 feet sphere. Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, basically a little bit bigger than her. Yeah, so I think you see it engulf, like, the majority of her. And she hisses as smoke is kind of rising up through uh, the, the gaps in her bones. Anything else? Um, she's clearly not upset. Or she's, she's clearly very upset. She's by sad. The I don't know why oh, she is so whiny right now. She she's wants nervous. She I knows. Know she knows. Mama is fighting want. a Drake lich right now. I don't know what it is that she wants. So I'm gonna have she to figure that out on break. Um. So Raven, I swear to Christ. Uh, I think if she starts her turn in it, yeah. Yeah, if, it, if she ends her turn there, then she'll have to make the save again. Okay. If she ends her turn there. Got Just it. so you know. Okay. And that's it. That's... I don't think I've got any bonus. A bonus action, Shalala. How's that? <laughs> it's never a bad idea. Nope. Um, 
Uh, right. I'm gonna move out of the actually the corner that that like, lightning thing came from. I'm just gonna step five feet forward. <laughs> it is gone now. I will say. Oh, it's they, gone. They, okay. Yes, they, I just I didn't know if it was uh, like a thing that was like gonna pop up again, no. like a trap in Indiana Jones movie. Okay, that I'm fine she uh, she picks two <laughs> points and then between them it forms a line of lightning, but it's just for that one. Uh, action. Okay. It disappears after that. <laughs> That would be that crazy if she could just like set up lasers around yeah, the room. Really? That's what I was thinking. I was imagining like lasers just came out of like the like. You that's know, what like I should have. That's what I. Sh- okay. We all have to go real oceans twelve uh, to and, like to avoid them. Yeah, or like Resident <laughs> Evil. It's a cool idea for a boss actually. Okay, put a put a pin in that for later. Oh no. Uh, oh. At the end of your and turn, she's it is the lair. Heavily action. obscured as well, so for things that she needs to see. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> uh, at the end of your turn is going to be the lair action. Um, you all, Soraya, you actually feel uh, here within the the crypt itself uh, a wind start to pick up uh, as uh, centered in this room. This swirling sphere of sand appears, and then all at once. Uh, blasts out into the corners of the room. I need everybody to make a constitution saving throw. Not save. Oh boy, yeah. Make one for the sentinel. Oh yeah, he's good. Uh, 21. Same. That succeeds. I rolled a two, so I think I fail. That'll fail. 13. Sale. I am uh, so sorry. Uh, what was I rolling? Con save. You're fine. I could see you really focusing. <laughs> yes. Like, it's, it's, it's like locked in right now. I am locked in. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what to do next. Um, but up, up, uh. Okay, this dice has rolled nothing but ones and twenties. A 20? Same dice. 20. For a 21. <laughs> Uh, that Just will succeed. Today. Dutch. Uh, that's a good question. Sorry, I keep forgetting about my boy. You're fine. Uh, so I like having well, him on screen. Could potentially on succeed on that. It's a fifteen plus. I wish there was a better place that they would keep all this. Uh, fifteen plus. Two plus proficiency bonus, so 15 plus 7, so 22. Yes, so uh, that will succeed. I said someone failed. Who failed? Law failed. I failed. Everyone else succeeded. Yeah. Uh, Law, you are blinded. As this blast of sand sort of takes out your eyesight momentarily, uh, you can repeat the save at the end of your turn. Okay. You're blinded by the sand currently. <laughs> And it's your turn. Funnily enough. Really, uh, so she, hmm. the last time I saw her, was there any point on her that I could see outside of the cloud? Uh, yeah, I think because she's not, I mean, because she's not a perfectly spherical creature. I mean, I think you can kind of see like pieces of her, like maybe like a tail, um, mm-hmm. stuff like that, or like the front of a snout kind of fighting her way out of the cloud. Okay. It seems silly to just be like, no, a sphere perfectly engulfs the shape of a dragon. <laughs> you can see it's dramatic, you know? Okay. If that's the case, then just with blind faith, uh, literally, literally, uh, I use half my movement speed to stand up. So I have 30 feet. Okay. I'm going to use, she's 40 feet up. She is 40 feet up, yeah. Uh, then I'm going to use my hasted action to dash and fly. I can have 90 feet of movement. Uh, okay. I'm just going to fly straight up at her to attack. Okay. Uh, and Why I guess I'll make you... my... Do you want me to do a check to see if I fly into the cloud? I do I'm because totally I want to... I was going to fly into the cloud if I had to, uh, but if I didn't have to, I was going to try to avoid it. Roll an insight check. Insight, okay. 
I, I mean, unless you have something you'd rather argue for. Uh, I mean, something like intelligence, like to. I again, know you want it to be intelligence far. based. Uh, that I mean, that's I can't think of another skill that would be applicable. Uh, perception doesn't seem right. Um, yeah, I really can't think of anything. I'll do an insight. Let's do insight. Sure. Uh, that is. <laughs> should I just use my flash? You know what? I will. I'll use my flash of genius to turn it to a fifteen, in hopes that that might succeed. Fifteen. That's well, little... if they're making the deck save on my incendiary cloud, essentially. Fifteen is a little lower than what I had in mind. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not going to, like, punish you and say you're gonna lose your turn or anything like that, but I think you do fly into the cloud. Okay. Because, my reasoning being because it is loud out here, and you know where she last was, but I don't uh -huh. think you can distinguish the sounds of the, this little storm that Soraya has created versus the rest of the storm that's kind of roiling around you. So you Got end it. up in the cloud. You get you upload okay. yourself to the cloud, then but that does confirm save, right? that you're where you last saw her. So yeah, does so I make a dexterity saving throw? Mm -hmm. Okay, still advantage. Please, V to seventeen. Uh, I do not. It's a fourteen. Okay, you don't take the damage till the end of your turn. Oh, I thought it was when I entered the. It is. It is when you enter. Oh, okay. Nope. Then you're gonna yeah. take the, the damage. When it enters the spell's area for the first time, or ends its turn there. Okay. So. God, I've never wanted to see one so much in my life. That's forty. Okay. I'm resistant to fire. It's damage. fire damage, though. Yeah. 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 So I only take twenty. So you take twenty. So. And that's not enough for me to fail. It's less than I rolled last time. Check. So. Uh. I'm going to, to make two attacks. Haste action to dash, yeah. Haste action to dash. So I have not 90 feet of movement. Uh, so I fly 40 feet up. I get burned pretty bad. Uh, but I was ready for that. I'm going to make two attacks with Snickersnack at disadvantage. Yes. Well, you... Snickersnack can just tell me where to Because you cannot swing. see. Uh, it's a 23 to hit. I will hit. And a uh, 25 to hit. That will also hit. Those are with disadvantage? Yeah. I have a plus 17 right now. Yeah, you have a crazy amount of fire. Trying, So it's very unlikely for yeah. me to miss. Yeah, damage. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to do 18 on the first one. Okay. 18 on the second one. I'm going to do another Arcane Jolt to heal myself 46. Okay. Does it take an action or anything to do that? No, it's just part. It's not like a smite. Okay. Um, that's 18 healing to myself. Okay. Uh, and then I will provoke the attack of opportunity uh, and fly out of the cloud. Out of the cloud. Okay. So yes. she is going to make an attack against you. With, uh, I guess she has advantage. You guess she has advantage? I guess. No, she I guess has she can have that. She has advantage. Um, 31. Yeah, that is. Uh, she swings around with her tail to catch you as you are flying out of her range. Uh, it's 21 bludgeoning damage. Okay. But you are able to fly out of the storm. How far do you want to go? Awesome. Or yes, you can move um, Oh, that's a good question. So if I fly 40 feet straight up here, I don't want to get too far away. Uh, I will fly... Uh, 
is is the like the layout of the where the crypt is um if if Giselle's right uh do I would it be to the south southern part like kind of an oriented where it is on like based on like the mini map area yeah so section three that v3 is directly below v2 okay so if i flew 5 10 15 20 25 30 like right there um that'd be kind of like over where the crypt would be uh yeah you're not quite there i don't think but that's fine i don't want to go like all the way but just like in the direction if she starts heading that way that i'm between her and it yeah you're about a little less than halfway to it okay that's totally fine i'm good right there okay uh dutch dutch uh really can't do anything dutch can't fly uh so dutch will just Oops. will just stay and take the dodge action in case something does attack him okay uh it is the sentinel's turn and he's going to chase his quarry up the stairs past one dragon to get to another Most of the mausoleum at this point is completely destroyed. <clears throat> um, but he can't really do anything from down here. Let me see if he recharges his slow spell. I was really wondering whether he was about to start flying. He does not. Uh, no, he can't fly. Like super iron giant. Um, so he is going to stay there. And is going to be... Oh, make a um, a save for the blinded. Constitution save. Right, Constitution save. Thank you. That's a thirty-one. Oh, that'll succeed. You are no longer blinded. You can see. You can see what you flew into now. <laughs> Perfect. And I go, ow. <laughs> uh, it is the dragon's turn. Um, she's gonna kind of like look, looks to you, sees the sentinel, that sinister grin, uh, kind of across her skeletal face and she is going to rear back and look directly down into the room uh where the rest of you are and she is going to unleash her lightning breath Rude. need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw uh except soraya because you're in the opposite corner <laughs> Oh, Dutch. This might be the end for you. Wait, did we decide whether Dutch got the blessing for the lightning resistance? Yes, I said yes. Okay, <laughs> I could remember. Uh, that is a 23 for me. It succeeds. That is a 23 for me as well. It succeeds. So I take no damage. That is a 26 for Dutch. That succeeds. And... Oh, is my welfare spirit in it? Uh, Technically, yeah. Let me see. Do they have a do they have a little <laughs> sheet? To, can I make them? Our girl is gonna try to save. Oh, he's good. Oh yeah, they do. They have a little alright, hold on. Let me make a let me make a little duck save for this little guy. I won't take big gold dice. Go down on this if it's a lot of damage. Might be. That's a ninety. That fails. Ugh. Doesn't have very great decks. Roll this one on the website, fellas. Uh, that is 67 lightning damage Oof. on a fail. So we'll say 33 on a success. And then half of 33 if you're resisted. So 17. What was the full amount? Sorry. 67. Okay. Dutch is still up. Thanks for leaving the light here. Yeah, if you guys hadn't done that bit um, the way you did, you might be having a much bigger problem right now. We would have been resacked. How's your wildfire spirit? Still up with 13 points. Yay. Yeah. 
Uh, He's beefy with 80. Good job, buddy. And then she <laughs> is going to leave the cloud, which she hates being in. She's going to fly uh, about 20 more feet up. So she's about 60 feet above you and out this direction. That is going to be her turn. Uh, it is now going to be Oak Rule's turn. And he also can't <laughs> fly. Uh oh. And he's slow and steady, but he's going to climb back up the stairs. He tries to get out of the way at the top of the stairs. This is all, the walls and everything are done so. So we'll get up here. His turn. And that'll be Giselle. Okay. Is there something, again, Giselle and Sid both have suspicions that she's just going to, like, dive on down. Is there a check I could make? Like an insight or something to see if, or, I don't know. Because if she, if it does look like that is the plan, mm -hmm. then I am going to use, because I reread it and I'm an idiot, I can use it at any time. I just can't reuse it until I take no movement in combat. So, could have done okay. it earlier. I'm gonna try it's to, fine. like, re read I'm her intentions. Try to use... Yes. Yeah, you can roll an inside check. Okay. That's, uh, 21. Okay. I'll give you this. She's crazy, right? So am I, bitch! She's also been here for thousands of years. So and she had time to make a plan. And you think maybe maybe a really old, intelligent dragon probably would have thought of that before. And maybe there is a reason she hasn't done that. She doesn't look like she's gearing up to cannonball, we'll say. You think she probably would have tried just busting the, the building apart. Put them before, because the sentinel didn't open it. Okay. Um... Okay. Then... I will use my 90 in a different way. Uh, let's see. 5th, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Zing up the stairs. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna hide behind the sentinel. Okay. You um, can certainly try. Okay. That's a 26. Ooh, that's a 30. Okay. She see you. Um, that's fine. Totally doesn't bother me at all. I'm still very powerful, and I can still kill this bitch. It's fine. Um. Yeah. Giselle, maybe you should check how many charges you have on your staff now. Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Um. Fuck it, let's do it again. Okay. Um, we'll make the save. That's a 24. Oh, yeah, I mean, that absolutely saves, so she'll right. take half. She'll take half. 
Wait, no, it's not. Hold on. Yeah, it's 24. Okay. Don't worry about it. That was more sixes this time. Uh, so yeah, uh, well, and some ones. So 41, so half to 20. Okay. Oh, that's 20. She not like that. You see some bone shards uh, go flying from the impact and the rest of uh, the, the leather that's sort of holding her wings together start to catch a flame a little bit. She's not having a good time up there. Anything else? Uh, that's me. That's my zoomies. That's my bonus action in action. So here I am. Damien. Okay, can I still see her? Yes, you can still see her. She's just higher up now. She's um, about how... 60 feet up. 60 feet? Perfect. Okay. Um, she needs to make a wisdom save. Okay, against? Um, against me doing a cast... As I look up at her, and I yell, Hey, is this a Krishka? Let me ask you a question. Why can't... Why don't you spell dark with a Why do you spell dark with a K and not a C? Cuz you can't see in the dark. Twenty eight. It goes over her head. This joke goes over her head. I don't think it does. Yeah. I think she gets it. I just don't think she likes it. Look, I, I try. Look, I try. <laughs> what are you casting? Uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. Uh, no. I'm trying to make this bitch fall is what I'm trying to do. Unfortunately, uh, the joke doesn't doesn't land the way you want to with the millet, several millennia old Dracolich who's been waiting for this her entire life. Look, I I am just they trying tried. to get this. I'm trying to get her to fall out of this sky by any means possible. She might kill you just for that. Just for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, that's didn't all I can do. She didn't have a sense um, of humor. Anything else? No, that's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on staying down here. Okay, I'm gonna stay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna though. I do want to move. Um, okay. I'm gonna move to the other side of the. To right over by Soraya's. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, that's gonna bring us to Soraya's turn. How many feet away would you say from her? How many feet away from the cloud did she move? Uh, if we had the cloud centered, she was here. How, bit, how wide is the cloud? It is a 20 foot radius sphere. Okay, so it would be. Well. I'm asking because I can push it 10 feet before it's I give up enough. on this cloud <laughs> entirely. There I can push go. it away from me 10 feet. That's kind of where it is. So a little farther than 10 feet. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to move. Ah, uh, uh, girl. <laughs> He's losing it. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Then I think I'm just gonna <laughs> abandon the cloud because it only it can only move ten feet per turn. Yeah. <laughs> She's just gonna be able to get away from it. She's too quick. Okay. So I'm dropping concentration on my incendiary cloud. And it was a nice try. I mean, it did a chunk of damage. It did. It did a little chunk of damage. It did some stuff. It did what it needed to do. It did some stuff. It was. It hurt Law as much as it hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> um so i think um i'm just gonna play defense a little bit and uh i'm gonna summon my healing spirit at <sighs> do i want to do that or do i want to hit her that's touch. I can't fly. Let's see. What well, let's just try to figure out what else I can do. Oh. That's not touch. Okay. I'm imagining she's got a pretty high con. 
but that's fine with me. Uh, I'm gonna cast Blight. Nope, I'm not. That's 30 no. feet. She's more than 30 feet away from me. Just kidding, yeah, I'm not. she's a little high up for that. Yeah, I thought about that. And all my other things are going to go along the ground, or they're lightning. This is, I'm not prepared for this at all. Is she 60 feet away from me? Uh, Yeah, she's about 60 feet straight up. We can wither and bloom. You could. Uh, I'll just stay on defense. I'm going to summon my healing spirit at fifth level. <laughs> okay. Let's put a little guy. Just going to oh, summon the little yeah. guy. Uh, I'm going to bring him. Who needs a who needs a heal? I could use a heal. Okay, Damien. Oh, no. That's going to appear next to you. I lost the map. Oh, please. Oh, no. Quick, everyone move. Mm. <laughs> It's right there. Just hit the wrong button. Okay. Did it save the little guy I put on there? It's okay. It's a little, it's a little ghost. I'm gonna name this Healing Spirit. There he is. You can put him wherever you want. Okay. I'm gonna put him next to Damien. There. And for my bonus action, I'm going to have it heal Damien. Yay. And that's going to give you. Yeah, you both are pretty low. 18. Yeah. Something. It's a lot of red flashing happening. Mm -hmm. Look, that lightning wrecked me. That was low enough as already it was. It was. And I'm. I'm assuming she can't breath weapon again. Otherwise, I'd really want to move my wildfire spirit away since that's my <laughs> that's my healing spirit. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to risk it because uh, I can only I'm not going to only move one of them. <laughs> so I chose I chose to use it to heal Damien. So that's my action and bonus action. I am done. OK, law. All right. I'm, uh, she's still within striking distance for me. So I'm gonna, I think 60 feet of move speed. I counted moving diagonally 35 feet puts me kind of at the corner where, uh, our dragon turtle friend is. Okay. Um, so if she's 20 feet up from there, then even if we don't have to Pythagorean theorem this, uh, no, I think I can get there with 60 feet. I think that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to just fly at her. Okay. And I'm going to make my three attacks. Okay. No longer at disadvantage. I'd really like to crit on one of these. 25 to hit. Yep. Uh, 24 to hit. Snickersnack yep. would also really like you to crit. 24 to hit. Yep. Oh, Snickersnack would love it if you would crit. I know. I just, I'm trying, buddy. Uh, all right. That is, I'll just tally up. I'll just total up the damage. Um, uh, 38, 48, 54, uh, 54 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, as you slash three times into Zixokrushka, she's this rattling, uh, sort of growl and roar at you over the wind. You hear Snickersnack screaming his lungs out in delight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna arcane jolt myself again to get some more healing, okay. just, just in case. <laughs> but yeah, oh. just like I hope this is what you wanted, buddy. Uh, and with my bonus action, I don't really, yeah, that's just gonna, just gonna chill. She's gonna yep. do her lair action now because for some reason it disappeared from the initiative tracker. Oh no. But that's okay. She just would have done I... it right before, right before your turn. Oh, so she'll just do it right after. It's fine. Uh, who's still down there? Oh boy, a couple of you are pretty close together, huh? Yeah. 
uh, Soraya and Damien, you feel another shake, and the rest of the ceiling begins to collapse above you, and you both to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 24. That succeeds. Nine. Did you say nine? I did. Um, that failed. The girl said nine. <laughs> As Damien, you jump out of the way. Soraya, not quite quick enough. Uh, as more rubble falls down atop you. Wow. Uh, that's going to be 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof. You are knocked prone. You are restrained under the rubble once again. Dutch will save you. <laughs> Dutch will save you. It's fine. Uh... Why is this twice in this fight? I just keep getting buried <laughs> under rubble. I'm sorry. Uh, fine. It is going to be the Sentinel's turn. There's not anything he can do down here, so he's going to um, kind of take up a defensive posture, knowing that Giselle is right nearby. Um, and at the end of the Sentinel's turn, uh, Zixokrishka is going to... Well, first she's going to open her damn character sheet like a professional dragon. Uh, she is going to use I a... have over a millennia of experience as a professional <laughs> dragon. I don't need a character sheet. Uh, while she is, <laughs> she is going to make a tail attack against you. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you that's a natural 20. <gasps> I'm sorry to <laughs> take the Can I? Line. Do I see her for silvery barbs? Uh, I think she might be too far away. How much? Silvery barb is 60 feet. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, oh silver barbs. That's not a natural 20. There you go. That's good. I'm gonna give uh, the it advantage. Is a 31. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Listen, it's not a crit. It's fine. I'll give the advantage to um, to Giselle because it looks like she may need it. Uh, so hey! You get advantage on your next attack roll, ability checker, saving throw, Giselle, and Law. You are gonna take 23 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, that's her legendary action. Meaning it is her turn. Does she get this back? Nope. No lightning breath this round. Unfortunately. Uh, she can't use Frightful Presence because she tried that before and that did fuck all against any of you because you can't be afraid because you <laughs> ate some really good chicken. <laughs> Those were some really good Cornish hens, guys. For like, for real, like, <laughs> like Soraya. Like, I know it's magical, but like, you have a real culinary talent that I think we have not fully explored. Like, Sarai, Sarai, wow. that's what I, happens when you grow up in a in a place when the only people that will hang out with you is the kitchen staff. Soraya, I I mean this with all of my heart when I say this that I am so happy that it's, that the chicken you made was seasoned. I love that this conversation is definitely having a loss about to get pummeled by a dragon. In the yeah, sky. Law, she's freaking pissed at you. She, you're her biggest threat right now. You're going to get three attacks. Okay. Uh, the first one is. Just in the background, just in the sky, the she's just like punching Law in the face. It's like that one scene. We're discussing Cornish like punching over and over again. The first one is a 28. Uh, Yeah, that hits. Second one's a 32. Um, I'm going to Silvery Barbs, that one. Okay. Uh, so to maybe make second it Second attack is a 29. Okay, that's fine. I'm so gonna you get give to myself, give your advantage. I'm going to give myself the advantage on the yeah. next. Uh, and the third attack... Uh, that one, I don't know. That one won't hit, I don't think. 23? 23 hits, because I used uh, my reaction, so I can't shield now. Okay, so they're That's also going to hit. 
Uh, so it's gonna be. They're all the same kind of damage, I think. They're not. That's okay. Uh, okay, so you're gonna take. Uh, 21 piercing damage. Okay. From the bite, as well as. 10 lightning damage, have to 5. And then I'll roll the claws in together. So that's from the bite. And then. Uh, 20 slashing damage from the claws together. Okay. Uh, as she's absolutely wails on you one two claw strikes and then a bite down uh on one side of your body and you feel the heat uh and the tingling from the lightning are you looking law uh i am at 53. <sighs> okay uh, that is going to be the end of her turn which is going to bring it to ogrul's turn and now that he is out in the, out in the world here, uh, he can angle his uh, breath weapon so as not to uh, cause a lot of damage. So Law, you can I think you can see him below you kind of tracking your movements. Uh, and he kind of moves over to the side and he's going to try to blast her. Uh, this huge cone of, of this like, bright, just abrasive sand. Uh, it goes blasting towards Zixokrishka in the sky, adding to the uh, the sandstorm out here. She's going to try to make a save. Alright, so she is going to save, so she's going to take half of 15d6. He's a big toidal. Yeah. Uh, it is 63. Like half. Uh, as he just blasts her with this cone of sand. And you hear this like grumbling roar uh, from the tortoise. As we come to Giselle's turn. You know that I hate to repeat a look. But fireball's all I have, bitches. That's all I've got. I don't, I don't. It's the only thing that's working. If it works. Um, okay. She'll roll a dexterity save. A fireball is my little black dress, okay? Like, I don't know what else to do here. Um, but I would like to uh, hide um beforehand to okay. maybe give her disadvantage and i was granted advantage on this ability check uh by damia thank you you do have advantage so let's see Twenty-eight. And wrong dragon i was like i think hers higher than that uh ooh. Nope, not this time. She failed? Yep, she failed. Woo! God damn. All right. He man. So that's going to give her... Does she has disadvantage on the saves? Is that... She has disadvantage on the save, yes. Okay, but because it's a, I am it is a Magical spell, so ambush. She has advantage. So straight roll. Let's just do a straight roll. What's your DC? 19. Yeah, she rolled an 18 on the dice. Damn. She was like seed, right. just like half damage. Okay, um, so 43 reduced to 21. She had 14 hit points left. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a little black dress. What does this look like? Oh. This is not dignified. This is not cool or heroic. This is Giselle weaving 
like figure eights between the sapphire sentinel's legs like this entire combat like your cat waiting for you to fucking feed it um and and same deal just peeking out behind his knee uh throwing off that uh that that good old fireball uh you all see one more burst of fire this one sort of takes root in the back kind of center mass of the dragon and you hear one loud sort of rasping yell as she is blown apart and the skull just falls to the ground kind of making a, a big dent a big crater in the uh in the stone of the side of the Masaba. Did we do it? Did I run over to help get Soraya out of the rubble? Say, Soraya's still under rubble. Yeah, I see Dutch. my best. Hey, 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 big guy, can we can we dig our friends out, please? Yeah, I'm instantly doing that. Yeah, you you <laughs> dig Soraya out of the rubble. You can pull her out. I won't make you make a check because you have time to do it now. Um, yeah, you pull her out. Uh, and Soraya, as you are uh, pulled out of the rubble here uh, that has fallen upon you, uh, you see... I get crushed by Zixu Grisha's skull. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little farther out. Um, uh, but Dwight does show back up, and he's pissed. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, you see a crack in floor um, in front of you as a piece of stone uh, much like the, the stone of the floor but much thinner uh, in one square sort of cracks and falls inward and you see a uh, almost like a pit like 10 feet down or so uh, filled with Something shiny. Damien, drop me. <laughs> I, I, uh, oh, 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 okay. If you're looking I, at the map. It's that square that has the letter A on. Um, I will like look down the hole and I'll try to help Soraya. Down I've got. I can. I've got a. I've, I can call. What's it called? Produce flame. <laughs> I can see in this dark little shiny area. Yeah, it's it's not that far down. <laughs> Um, let me see which one we're in. Uh, there is a, a veritable mountain of gold pieces intermixed with some platinum and sticking out of the piles. Um, you see a couple of things, one that looks like a sort of scrolled up piece of parchment. Uh, one that looks like a wand. I just start handing everything out. <laughs> I'd start pulling things out as she brings it up. Hey, Giselle. Are you okay? I found yeah. lots of rocks. I'm I'm okay. I found treasure. Uh, you wanna say no more? You wanna see if there's any other places that she hid shit? <laughs> more like just, a dog. Giselle, make me an investigation check as you go tapping. Tap, 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 tapping across the floor. Well, Dave, well, I'm like throwing gold up at Damien in like handfuls. I swear to God, this this thing just knows how to roll 20s and 1s. So natural 20 for a fucking 28. Uh, Jesus. Across the, across the room, uh, there is an identical pit where the letter B would be on the map um and this one you and you tap on it and you sort of pry up with your claws and you pull away the sort of thin uh stone piece that was hiding it um and you see in in this second uh pit so again it's not 10 feet down um a small hoard of platinum pieces uh laying on top of it uh some kind of staff uh, tucked sort of in one side, um, this beautifully crafted longbow. And then nestled right on top is one about six inches tall, small little 
Uh, it looks like a stone figurine at first, and I think you you pick it up and look at it, and it looks like a chewinga, um, one of the little the little guys uh, who was helping out Algrul. It's a figurine, though. It's not like one of them mummified or something like Orville. Uh, it's not mummified. But it's made of stone? Yes. Hey. Hey, y'all. Does this, uh, does this kind of look like one of those, those little ones that was, was, was helping our friend? <laughs> Lift it out. Be careful, be careful. I don't know, maybe he's, maybe, maybe they're petrified or something. It, it could be real. Be careful. Maul takes a breather in the sky and flies down to see what everybody's doing. We've got a pile of gold yeah. and Holy magical shit. items in the, the center. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, she's still a dragon, baby. Uh, anybody have any idea what this stuff is? And give me some time, I can figure it out. That is a shit ton of platinum. That that's I'm... a lot of money. I know it's money. Yeah, mo that's a... definitely money. I know what money is. I know if the money little is. guy is oh, petrified, I, I can fix it. If we you can figure out if it's petrified. I mean, what if it's just a statue? Um, I can, I can identify it. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if it's magical before you have to, to identify it. You guys detect magic. Um... Yeah, there is a uh, a slight aura of magic around it. Now you're gonna want the school of magic. If you've got it, you know, handy. Uh, how school of magic would this be? What are the what are the schools? Uh, judiciary. Um, Executive. Executive. And? <laughs> I don't care about my Legislative. government. Legislative. I don't care about my government. I'll call this uh, just a little faint aura of transmutation magic. Transmutation? That, that's, that's the one that means they could be turned to, to stone, yeah? The potentially. Um, if we want to take a minute, I can identify the stuff and see in more than a minute, probably like an, an hour. Uh, you, you take and... the little one and um, I'll uh, I'll just uh, start the uh, digging. Woo! Uh, Giselle has a full Scrooge McDuck in platinum moment or hour for, you know, however long law needs. Uh, so you guys can take about an hour, sit down. Take a short rest. Not law if you're going to be identifying stuff, but everyone else. That's no, fine. Uh, and we should take our break because we're past break time. Uh, so we will do that and then we will come back to see what treasures are in the dragon's hoard. Good we job, everybody. We solved the dragon puzzle. You we didn't die. You did it. I'm Ooh. so proud of you. All right. Almost died, but... <laughs> Some of you got, got a little close, but that's okay. We're all still here. All right, we are going to take a quick break, quick refresher. We'll come back. Uh, we'll loot the dragon hoard, and then you guys have to decide what to do about Prince Hamukai and the nether yeah. scroll. Uh, so we will be back in just a brief few minutes. Chat, thanks for hanging out with us. Stick around. Uh, don't go no place unless it is to stretch and get some water and get a snack and, you know, lay on the ground for a minute. It's good for your back. Take a nice, you know, I'm going to lay on the ground for a minute. And yeah. we'll be right back. So stick around. And welcome back, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us during our break. We're refreshed and we are ready to loot a dragon's hoard. Uh, so I imagine most of you are going to want to take a short rest. That is fine. You can take a short rest in here. Um, as you do, as the time passes a little bit, and Law will get to you in just one second, but you can see the, uh, the sandstorm sort of dome over you with the lightning in it slowly start to dissipate. And after about an hour or so, 
the storm has calmed and the lightning is gone. So now you want to lose stuff. That's all I have yes. to say. At least we don't have Help to go is. back through that because I will die going back through that. Uh, no, the storm is gone <laughs> now. Uh, so you can take a short rest if you like. I don't know, Damien, if you want to play a song of rest. Yeah, I'll play a song for of everybody. rest so you guys get an extra D10 of healing. I cannot short rest though. Yes, Law, you will not get. If you're going to identify. Well, let's see. How long does identify take you? It's. Uh, it, yeah, I only have if I use the rest of my spell slots, I could just do four castings of it, and then how many magic items were there? You can four. take the time, and I Five can give, I, I I could just heal. I could just heal you. Okay. With heal and yeah. give you seventy points back. Yeah. If you so want to take the time, you want to take the time. It'd be eleven minutes per. Uh, okay. If I'm so fifty-five minutes. Okay. Okay, uh, let's begin. Uh, the longbow is just a plus two longbow. Okay. Very finely crafted uh, with plus two bonus. Uh, the staff, this is the stuff in pile B. Uh, I should have pulled these up while we were on the break, but I was busy talking shit. Just kidding. Uh, the staff uh, you pull out is a, a sort of gnarled, uh, like wooden, mostly quarter staff, and then at the end it sort of turns to this like gold leaf, like gold plated, um, and at the end it has this sort of gnarled looking like golden hand. Uh, this is a staff of withering. It requires attunement by a cleric, druid, or warlock. It has three charges. Regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. Um, it can be wielded as a magic quarterstaff. Uh, on a hit, it deals damage as a normal quarterstaff, and you can expand a charge to deal an extra 2d10 necrotic damage to the target. Uh, in addition, the target must succeed on a DC 15 constitution saving throw or have disadvantage on any ability check or saving throw that uses strength or constitution for the next hour. I'm going to post the links to these in the chat as well, so you yeah, guys don't have to write all that down. Sounds like it has Sarai's name written yeah. all over That's it. That's cool. Yeah, it's a staff of fire. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, and you have the shield, too, so you have two slots. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. I can't use it either, so. Cleric Druid Warlock. Uh, it's creepy looking, though, and I like that about it. Uh, in the other pile, you have a... Uh, wand, uh, which Law can identify as a wand of polymorph. <laughs> Seven charges. While uh, holding it, you can expend one charge to cast polymorph with a DC of 15 from it. Uh, regains 1d6 plus one expended charges at dawn. Expend the last charge, roll a d20. Roll one, it's destroyed. <clears throat> that one's really straightforward. It's a wand that lets you cast polymorph six times, seven times if you're spicy. <clears throat> also requires attunement, right? Uh, most of them do, yeah. This is just attunement by a spellcaster. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and that's all of you at this point. Uh, there is a spell scroll in here. Uh, it is a single use spell scroll of wish we have four wishes now i was gonna say yeah <laughs> who has now. who has the the ring uh i think willoughby actually had the ring because yeah, we didn't but trust any of the rest of us motherfuckers to have before, before we left though didn't willoughby give it to somebody yeah willoughby left his his big magic items so if anybody would like Sorry, to have it it would be on the list but <clears throat> I don't think any of us put it in our inventory. No. It is available, though. Uh, and finally, uh, Law, you identify the little statue of the Chewinga, um, mm -hmm. which is not a magic item at all. It is a Chewinga that has, in fact, been petrified. <gasps> I can fix it! Fix it. Gimme. Fix him. Fix him. Fix him. I will fix hand him. that over to Soraya. 
Greater Restoration. Okay. I cast Greater Restoration on this little friend. Again, they're about, I mean, max, the tallest ones are about six inches tall. This one's a little smaller, um, very thin, uh, sort of long fingers, a, a shawl that was kind of wrapped around its masked face. Um, but you cast Greater Restoration as it sits in your hand and the stone begins to fade away and uh, life is is breathed back into this little guy. And he just kind of sits up, looks I'm just around, like holding him. <laughs> very confused, sitting in your hands, looks down at your hands, looks up at you, and then just, I think, takes one, like, like breath, like sigh. Um, and he looks up at you, and he has this, uh, this, like, ovular white mask with, like, a single blue eye on it, um, and the eye glows a little bit. And Lila, you got 80 back, back by the 80? way. 80? yeah. So I used oh. my 7th level slot for that. Sorry. I was, I was just marking off all the things that I... I've used literally all of my spells almost. Uh, and <laughs> anyway. Soraya, as you're holding him, uh, they they reach out and kind of put this teeniest, tiniest hand uh, on like the top of your thumb. And you feel this like jolt of electricity. It's, it's very small. It's like, it's like uh, when you like touch the doorknob and you shock your finger. Uh, and he has granted uh, his savior a charm. I'll send it to you. I'm so I love these Schwigas so much. I just want They're I just, so I'm great. A, oh, God. Oh, gonna become like an old grizzled like druid lady and she's just gonna live amongst Schwigas. I love <laughs> that. Uh, I just put it with your hair. This like Radagast but with uh, <laughs> His uh his charm of restoration. Um, he kind of like looks around, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Hey, it, um, does he look like the same kind of chewinga as the rest of the ones that we saw on Ag Agro? Yes, yeah, he is uh, okay. a, a desert chewinga. He's he is not far from his home. Are they still on him while he was fighting, or did they go somewhere safe? Uh, I imagine they went somewhere safe um they are they are like slowly starting to return now um that that Ogre was kind of settled uh he's just kind of sitting kind of atop the masaba maybe snoring a little bit hard to say he's very old and he just did a lot of work he worked very hard so she'll bring a little nap. her little friend over this, to this, the rest might, of them this might be a little bit of a rip van winkle situation you know that that old fable maybe you should prep our little friend that Maybe some time has passed since, like, they got petrified and stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened to you, little guy, but... That guy over there, the big dragon tortoise... She's, like, holding, but she's walking over there. There's a lot of, um, people that look like you over there. Maybe your family? I'm not really sure. Um, but you can stay with us. For as long as you want to, or I can continue walking you the rest of the way across this mausoleum floor and bring you over there. I have to look and see if he understands what you're saying, because I don't actually know. What do they speak? What do you guys, what language do you guys speak? Do you speak a language? No. No languages? No languages, just hmm. a little guy. Okay, so... She will. Can you see any of the like the chewingas that are on Agrol at this point? Now that they're like kind of coming back. Uh, yes. Uh, I think you can see some that have kind of like started to resettle. <laughs> so she'll kind of like point. That shit in the wrong chat. She'll kind of like point over there, or just point at her shoulder and then shrug. <laughs> you can stay here, you can go at it's up to you. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Hang on. 
Uh, I think the uh, the little creature sort of uh, it, it stands up in your in your basement sitting uh, while you're carrying them. Uh, stands up in your palm, kind of shakes a little bit, a little like dust and like sand <laughs> falling off of them. Just to help brush uh, them off. And uh, kind of fixes fixes their little cloak that they have and pulls up the the hood. Um, and I think kind of takes take kind of a step and like grabs your thumb in kind of like a like a little hug. Uh, and and then just kind of like points to the uh, the tortoise. She'll walk him over to the little tortoise. Set him down. Does a little steppy down. I'm glad we found you. Good luck. Goes and joins his little friends. Curtsies. Uh, and I think that's it, except for the money. Money? Somebody you know Giselle's counting that shit. Money, please! <laughs> 4,450 gold pieces. <gasps> and in that pile is also 370 platinum pieces. And, and that's then... 3,700 gold pieces. Sure. If we're just converting it. Uh, and then the other stack is 1,240 platinum pieces. Okay, okay. One more time. <laughs> yeah, somebody else keep track of this. I, I'll, I'll, I'll add them for party funds. Uh, okay, can you can you say all that once I more? I sure can. <laughs> uh, the gold is 4450. Okay. Uh, and two stacks of platinum... One of 370. One of 1240. That'll pay your tuition. Yep. Uh, for anyone counting at home, that's a uh, equivalent of 20,700 uh, GP. So 20,700 divided by four. Yeah, I was dividing it between the four of us. Uh, that's, if we're doing the platinum and the gold. So if gold, it's 1,112.5 gold pieces for each of us. You can just and... convert it all into gold if you want. Yeah. Okay, so that It doesn't would be... bother me. Plus... So that's 5,137.5 gold pieces each of us. So essentially, two of us would get a gold I, more, or just do five silver each. 20,700 divided by four is 5,175. I got 5,137. How did I get that? Don't you know? Twenty seven hundred divided by four. Yeah, fifty one seventy five. Says my Mac calculator. So are we just splitting that up then? Yeah. Okay. Everyone gets fifty one seventy five. I'm overweight capacity. I don't care. We have a we have haversacks. Some of it's in platinum. You can decide what to do with all of your money when you leave. With my storm giant strength, I'm still not up here. In You're fine. <laughs> uh, good for an hour. Yeah, I can't. Unless well, I you're just like now, being silly, because you guys have like a fuck ton of coins on you right now. So like, obviously, you don't want to do that long term. But like, most of the time, I I could get less of a shit about encumbrance. Yeah, we also have our backpacks too. Have um, our sex, yeah. and we have our sex. Um, okay. The, the Sapphire Sentinel has been standing, waiting very patiently. Well, should we go down and see and find the scroll? Absolutely. I think our friend here has waited long enough. What do you think, big guy? 
Uh, I think he just nods. And oh, starts to go. walk off down the stairs. Uh, you walk back down the staircases past the murals. Um, back down into the, the crypt uh, with its wonderful uh, mural on the one wall of that beautiful landscape. The glowing stars set into the ceiling. Uh, and you stand there with the sarcophagus of Prince Hamukai of Azamar. Allegedly. Should they open that? Guess so. Can I check it for traps first? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, all I'm very paranoid. Yeah, let's make an investigation check. 22. Okay. Uh, you don't see any traps. Uh, no, no trip wires, no switches, no weird, weird bits that shouldn't shift. Um, but you do, and I mean, I think you, you all see this, but Giselle, you kind of look at them a bit. You do see these very intricate, uh, magical glyphs that sort of run all around the edge of the lid of the sarcophagus. We got glyphs. You think they mean anything? I Can I read do. them? Uh, what language are they in? It's not it's not really a language. I mean, you can read all languages, right? Yeah. Uh, they are magical glyphs that are based in ancient netherese. Nope. Can I do an arcana check to see what they do? Well, I mean, you know what they do. Is this keeping the prince alive. If you believe the story. Alive. They are keeping him in sort of a suspended state, so he ostensibly wouldn't die i guess let's, let's do i know if like if we open this will that wake him up or like does it stop like the rest of the uh for that i think you can do an arcana check because like what if we open it up and the spell restoration keeps that he stops Jeez. uh we're all the two so that's an 18. Ooh. I don't think you're sure. I think there's a couple of possibilities. The spell is meant to keep this man alive ostensibly forever. But he's been in here for as long as Zixokrushka has been trying to get to him. So what happens when you actually break that seal? I don't think you know. I mean, we came all the way here to do this, so... Oof. What do you think, big guy? You want us to crack it open? Somebody roll me an inside check. Ooh! 24 for Giselle. I rolled high. The golem, the the sentinel, I try not to use that word, um, is hard to read. But I think you're used to, especially because you've been sort of working with the the sentinels, like uh, language and that sign language that he and Hamukai um, created. Uh, and I think you've got a little bit of insight at this point into his body language, and I think he's really conflicted. Um, I think there's a little, there's a little bit of hesitance, maybe a little bit of fear. Uh, but he kind of just looks to, uh, that painting again, the beautiful, uh, landscape with the, the caption, the caption, the symbols etched around the frame, which you guys read last time. Um, they read in Draconic, and may Hamukai find his way to Elysium and eternal rest for his sacrifice. And I think he's really conflicted and is afraid of what will happen if you open it, but I mean, okay. based, based on all the stories, at least, that's his best friend in the entire world.
we have that scroll. Wish scroll? Yeah. If something bad happens and we open the sarcophagus, couldn't we just use that? Yeah. I'm not emotionally attached to it. It's only been under possession for like five minutes. We could. Yeah. Uh, it would have a bad consequence if we did uh, for whoever used it. Uh, but we could. All right, big guy. Give me the scroll. It was my idea. Can you use it? Uh, I don't know. Can I use it? Uh, which I was going to say access to the wish spell. I what also ignore all class level yeah. requirements uh -oh. for using magic items, so I wouldn't have to make a roll to do it because it's for the higher level than I can normally cast. I know it's yeah. one of the bard spells, so I yeah. know I can do I it. I don't know if it's a druid but spell. Because you have because you also have to if it's higher level than you can cast, then you, you have, have to, to do a roll yeah. for it. Let me just but I wouldn't have to do a roll as an artificer. Yeah. yeah. Our answer. And I think it only it would only have that consequence if we tried to make it do something that was not already an yeah. established spell. So, well, it's 8th level or lower. It can do any spell of 8th level or lower. If we're doing a true resurrection, uh, that would be a ninth level. Assuming uh, that yes, and if then you... If that's how you want to use it, then you would get the... It's just a contingency plan. Consequence, yeah, stress consequence. Yeah. I was yeah. kind of There's... thinking about it that anyway, so, yeah. Just in case something bad happens. I mean, like, this guy's come all this way, and what if the prince is alive and... But that sarcophagus is the only thing keeping him alive? I'm just a little worried about, no, like, no, cracking I, I, I this bad it. boy open and breaking the magic yeah, on as it. As, as soon as we got the scroll, like, that's where my brain went for this. Okay. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, just have it handy, I guess, and we'll see if we can get this guy as bestie back. Bad day. Looking up at the big guy. Uh, Giselle, I think you see uh, the sentinel stands still for like one long moment uh, and then kind of shakes itself not not to say no but as if to like ready i hold one little paw up to hold his hand, hold your hand. and i'm ready to fix it if anything bad happens to law in case they have to get they have to cast the wish <laughs> I, okay yeah I am we're all ready to do something <laughs> Oh, that's one thing, too, because it did check. True Resurrection is no longer than 200 years. That, that, that. I guess it's just going to depend. We're just going to have to try and yeah. see if it works, because how long they have been considered to have been dead if we're coming back, if he does that. Or if he's, he's alive. Been yeah. dead. Yeah. yeah exactly. If he's been in a stasis this whole time and if then he could, dies and we open it, then we could, could class Revivify on it. Yeah, we could class Revivify a greater resto. If it's like a cursed state or something. Yeah. All right, let's try. What do you want to do? No, let's do it. Let's go for it. I just wanted to point that out. You open it? <clears throat> yep. Okay. Uh, I want to share the art with you guys as you open it, because I really like it. Chat, ping me in Discord. I'll post this later. You push open the intricate lid of Prince Hamakai's sarcophagus. And you see uh, this, this sort of light, these light flashes of uh, blue lights are coming off of the glyphs as they, as the lid is disconnected from the sarcophagus all around the edge and laying inside, perfectly preserved, looking as if he is asleep is the man you can assume to be Prince Amokai. He is uh, wrapped very gently in linen cloth 
Um, above his his head, sort of resting, is this silvered death mask. Um, not on his face, but resting there with him. Uh, there are uh, jewels and and other things sort of surrounding him, kind of sitting on. Uh, uh, it's almost like a like a light linen collar that kind of goes behind his head. Uh, and then in the sarcophagus with him are two other items: a uh, very simple leather-bound book and an intricate golden scroll case uh, with these bright blue glyphs sort of encircling it. And you open the lid and you see him lying there uh, and almost immediately his skin takes on uh, kind of a pallor, it goes a little gray, and slowly, but much quicker than normal, um, you see him almost start to shrink, and the skin starts to get a little closer to his bones, uh, and the color starts to drain from him. I guess. Revivify him first. Do you want, yeah, try revivify and see if that works before we do this? Uh, so I will grab one of her emergency <laughs> out of her bag, her little like pre packaged emergency revivify um, emergency <laughs> diamond <tea>. packs. Yeah, <laughs> a little pack of diamonds. She just rips the chain off and uh, touches the prince. Uh, and tries to revivify him. Nothing happens. The it's not working. Starts to get a little tighter. All right. He just slowly starts to kind of waste away. I will use the wish scroll then. Okay. You don't have to roll for this. No. But you I... do have to make a wish. What do you wish for? Mm. Uh, I can, to keep it as like simple as possible. Well, that's the thing is I don't know if the true resurrection will even work. Cause like I said, it's been, we know that I know this cause we've looked at this. He's been in here for more than like 200 years. Based this on is, the stories, he's been in here for a couple millennia. Millennia. But he's actively dying. Yeah, but we know but that's the thing is like you cast revivify that would require a minute. That didn't work. So I think it's taking that time into account. So if I say I wish to cast true resurrection on Prince Hamukai, I think the time requirement of 200 years also didn't work. It's just not going to work. So I think I would have to wish him back to life, but if I don't word it the right way, it could do something really crazy uh, that we weren't intending. We wish for him just to not be dying. I say this, you don't have a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. I'm putting, Trust your gut. I'm oh. putting a timer on this. I'm trying to be kind so you guys can talk it out as players because I don't want to take that away from you because that seems shitty, but just like, there, there is going to be an end to this conversation. Yeah, just that show of hands. On. True. Do I try the true resurrection or do I do something off book? We know, I mean, I don't think it, it wouldn't work. He's been dead for much longer than 200 years. If, if that's what's happening. If we made a wish to stop the act of the act of dying that's going on now, could we then do a revivify after that? You know? You don't know. All you have are the stories you've been told. It's like that one spell, ah, oh, frick. It's a it's a cleric spell that um the, the magic that is sealing this place was to keep him alive. Yeah. 
He is not. He is in the act of dying. We don't have to wish him back to life. You just have to stop him from dying. Spare the dying. I just wish... I don't know, you wish him... Yeah, like the spell to spare, to the, spare the dying. Basically, well... Isn't that what just it does? It, it, that just stabilizes. Isn't that what kind of what we want to do, though? I think you just need to wish him healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just the 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 magic is that I think a true resurrection would probably work because he has not been dead. That's true. Yeah. He is in the act of dying. Yeah. If the stories are correct. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, I mean. <laughs> or I would say I wish that Prince Hamukai but, was alive and healthy. But also there you remember, go. we have three more wishes after this. Well, this, yeah, I mean, if we want to use that, yeah. Uh, I, do you guys, would somebody have had to attune to the ring? I think so. I think it okay. requires, then you well, guys, I don't know. You guys uh, don't have, if it requires attunement, you guys don't have that right now. Yeah, which is. I don't know. <laughs> at some point, he's not getting any deader. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, Brutal. Huh. Can I? Hmm. Lot, lot smarter than I am. Could I make a check to know whether that would even work? The true resurrection, based on what I saw with Soraya, can I do an Arcana check as like a snap thing for Law to know if I'm correct in assuming that that wouldn't work, or if there's a chance that it could? Uh, yeah, you can do a check for that. Oh my god, I rolled another two. I'm gonna do a flash of genius for a twenty-four. Okay. 24 total? Yeah. Soraya is the closest to being right. You look at him. You kind of take into account what is happening. You think back. You remember the stories. Shamir told you a lot of the story. You saw it in the murals. The whole point of what the wizards did and what Hamokai wanted them to do was to keep him alive. Because the curse that Zixokrishka placed on him was that once he died, the tomb would open. Right? Because it was locked mm -hmm. behind the the lock that only he or the Sapphire Sentinel could open. She assumed the Sentinel had been destroyed in their last battle. So she placed this curse on him that when he died, the tomb would open. So he had his wizards place him place him essentially in this stasis that you guys called it. I think that's a good word for it. Um, the reason that Revivify didn't work is because he's not dead. Yet. He is dying. Okay. Got it. Uh, I think you can suss that out from, from what's happening here. I don't think that's too much. So even a Spare the Dying would work right now? Yeah. I'm saying because like if we cast spare the dying that would stop him from dying and then we could just cast a spell normally and then we won't have to get the repercussions from using the switch i don't know if i yeah i don't know if a cantrip is gonna keep be powerful enough to i will also give you this this is millennia's old netherese magic that was keeping him alive i don't think a spare the dying is gonna work in theory in another situation, potentially, law in this theory, this this magic is so old that it's it's almost unrecognizable to you. I think you can see the threads of it that connect it to the same weave that you guys pull your magic from. But this is thousands of years of development and and difference and knowledge. Later, it's it, it's it's basically. It is almost unrecognizable to you, except in the fact that it is magic, and based on the stories, you have a general idea of what it's trying to do. Uh, okay. I think I'm trying too hard to think about this. Uh, I'm gonna put the cap on it there, and ask you to decide what you're doing. Uh... I wish 
for Prince Hamakai to not be dying. Final answer? <laughs> that could just mean that he's dead. Yeah, that's alive weird. and healthy. That he's alive and healthy? Yeah. I, I almost want to go a little off book from that. Uh, because I also thought just I wish for Prince Amakai to have what he would want. Uh, but hey, yeah, if, if I pretty much if he wants peace. Yeah. It's up to you. What do you want to say? Uh, yeah, I'll do what everybody else said. Uh, I wish for Prince Hamukai to be alive and healthy. Okay. You wish for Prince Hamukai to be alive and healthy. Uh, you say these words and the scroll disappears in sort of a flash of genius, perhaps. <laughs> uh, and everything uh everything going on around you kind of settles and it becomes very even more quiet than before the uh stars that were twinkling overhead sort of stop and just let out this gentle sort of blue glow and uh prince hamokai's face where it had been starting to uh languish and and almost begin to decay everything stops And then after a long moment, uh, a little bit of color starts to return. He has this deep uh, sort of olive skin, high cheekbones, bald head, um, very, uh, very gentle features, um, aside from sort of these high cut cheekbones, very like soft eyes, a soft kind of smaller nose, and a little bit of the color starts to return to his face uh, and his eyes open. Uh, and he blinks a few times and, un and underneath he's got uh, these these deep sort of uh, like golden hazel eyes uh, sort of looks around and looks at all of you. <laughs> Just imagine just like gripping the side of the sarcophagus, just all like, yeah. <laughs> just still like pulling on the sentinel's hand, kind of like, go on, buddy, go on. You hear from the sentinel this strange grinding sound, almost like of stone on stone. Uh, and just all you look up and you see something falling from its eyes where tears would be, but it's sand. Uh, and the sentinel, uh, steps up to the sarcophagus, um, reaches down, uh, and sort of pulls apart the linen wrappings and helps Prince Hamukai to stand. He looks around at all of you, uh, wipes Smack some- people. Kneel! <laughs> some dust, some sand, uh, from- his face and lays a hand on the uh, the sentinel who lays a hand back on him uh, and then he looks out at all of you uh, and and just in this, in this kind of soft uh, very kind voice um, smiles a little he looks alive he looks healthy maybe a bit tired <laughs> like he really overslept can we I'm assuming he does not speak common, uh, but he taught, he and the, the, the sentinel shared the, the signing yeah, language. Sign language. Yeah. Uh, Can Prince... we attempt to speak to him in that? Yeah. What do you say? Uh, good morning, your highness. <laughs> uh, he, he kind of squints at you. 
He, he watches your hands. Uh, and then he just very gently sort of reaches out and kind of puts his hands on yours. Uh, and radiating out from that touch, you all feel this like very, it, it's a wave that hits you, but it's very, it's very gentle and warm. And then he speaks and you can understand him. Good morning. Netherese wizards, damn. Do I want to know how long it's been? A really, really long time. Either you're very strange grave robbers, or the dragon is gone. She's dead. Oh yeah, she's a big pile of bones. It has been a very long time then. You kept him safe. Uh, yeah, we we found him in the desert, and La just like gestures fi fixed him. I was like on the floor right now. Uh... You're okay right now. I thought him long dead. You have I mean, given definitely me... buried, but I guess not dead. You have given me a great gift. What to do now? Kind of looks up at the sentinel. Um, and the sentinel is kind of going between looking at, at him and this mural um, on the wall that has been sort of like uh, in, its, in its glyphs promising uh, the prince rest in Elysium. I... I don't mean to be uh, rude, but um, one monarch to another. Uh, we did come here seeking something specifically. I imagine I know what it is. Uh, looks to the uh, scroll case. Who are you? Oh, how terribly rude. Um, I am a Duchess Giselle Arabella Wintersweet uh, of the, the the Northern Misty Forests. Um, that's that's the the other monarch. Okay, whatever. Uh, and uh, and and this is this is Damien, and this is Saraya. Um, we're students. Students. Mm -hmm. More or less. At the uh, a college called Strixhaven. This means nothing to me. Yeah. It's a, a magic school. They gave us a book called We Were Gone in the Feywild for two and a half years. It's kind of a really long story, and you seem like you don't want to hear it. So, um, long story short, uh, we got sent here on a, on a mission so we can pass our classes, and we found ourselves in a dangerous situation again. We came out on top, and now you're alive. No. Yeah. If the magic worked, I have always been alive. But you have okay, kept me. Now you're life. not actively dying. This this is true. Well Duchess and Monarch and Amy and then Soraya. I must apologize. You seek this scroll. Mainly to protect it. 
make sure it doesn't fall into the hands of someone like Zishukrisha who would use it for bad things. And so far it has not. I guess, you know, the, the best protection would be the person who owns it. Why do you seek the scroll? Graduate. A fine achievement that would be. And it seems you are more than capable of killing a dragon, so a few exams should be no problem. I don't want you to have come all this way for nothing. Well, I mean, I guess one reason we wanted the scroll is, I guess, to preserve it, but also it's an example of of the past and to learn more about you. If this is what you want, there is something else I can give you. Oh, what? Uh, he reaches down into the sarcophagus and he's picked up the scroll case, but he also picks up this thick, uh, hand-bound leather book. I tell you what. This is something I am even more loath to part with. If it is not to people I trust. Here. These are my memoirs. I like to write. I kept a journal for many years, and I would finish that journal, then fill the next a few weeks later, and... If history is what you want, that book is my life. honor to learn from your life of experience. Hmm. Wow. Some of them. Yeah. There's a cat in there? Oh my god, it's so cute. You have a cat in there too? Oh my god. Mittens, please. (laughs) I did not wish the cat back. That that cat's fucking magical. Oh no, the the cat would have survived well on her own. Do not worry, you could not harm her if you wanted to. It sort of had the benefit of having cats, as you can leave them while, you know, rather found or dead. They are incredible creatures. Thank you. do not wish to disappoint you. But this scroll is eyes into the very weave itself. Do not think anyone should possess it, really. What will you do with them? I will take it to Elysium. I'll probably be safe there. There. Ah. Before you go, I do have like two questions. Well, more of a question, more of a request. Oh, uh, one. Did you know we were going to be here? The paintings. Yeah, what the fuck's up with that? No, um, that is a uh, how do you say in your language? Frank. Oh, good I prank. I fucking knew it. Cool. It's very funny. One of my, uh, one of my uh, closest confidants, a uh, very powerful Netherese wizard, never grew out of her um, jackass face. 
I will have to tell her when I see her in eternity that it worked. That's so, good. so creepy. That lore, it was super creepy. I respect the lore. It's a simple enough enchantment. It just then replicates the first uh, four or five, six people to stand before it. Uh, it's just a mirror made of paint. It's creepy as hell, so... Very good. Well done. I tried Our to cool. tell her not to, but I was asking her to lock me in the coffin and uh, sort of make me live in stasis forever, so you, you know you compromise where you can. My, um, my request is perfectly fine. Keep the scroll, like, that's not, you know... It. But if you could, like, sign off on our field trip just something just to like oh yeah just let, like a so we can show who we may concern if, yes huh. um, i have some paper if you just want to write something real quick uh just to let them know that we did find it like magically seal it so they know it was you kind of thumbprint or something of course of course i can write you a letter of recommendation perfect is that still a thing Yes, yes. Oh, very yes. much so, yeah. Of course. Signs your permission slip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Signs off on your volunteer hours. <laughs> Perfect. More valuable than the scroll itself. Quite honestly, yeah. Uh, and, you just have to get this credit. Yeah. And, uh, and he entrusts you with his memoirs. Wow. That's so cool. Is there anything else I can offer you? At the jewels, the gems, the, the death mask, they, they're probably worth something, I... You don't want them? Uh, opulence was never my, um, style. I mean, that would also go probably go a long way towards proving that we did this and we didn't just go, like, fuck off somewhere for a couple weeks. And the opulence and... is very much mine, your highness. So, I mean, if you don't mind take what you want i have no use for it and students improving themselves ever learning always moving forward and you put it to good use yes for your school there Whoa. is a smoke shaped giselle and she is a few steps away with all of it in her arms it is yours. Thank you so much. That's so generous of you. Really. We'll make sure some of it makes it to the archives and isn't all end up in Giselle's room. If you can, spend it. Yeah, I did. I did burn a few diamonds trying to keep you from dying. So I'm gonna I'm gonna replace those. But uh, the, that's just this, money. This is the type of person that should be running things. Like I like this person. Like they're great. You like them because they gave you money. I like them because they gave me money and said I should spend it. That's amazing. All I would ask. And he kind of looks to, to Damien holding the, the thick handwritten memoir. Tell the story. Stories are worth their that. weight in gold. He looks at the book for a bit and then looks up at him and goes, you know what? I think I will. And he starts like furiously start reading through this book. Perhaps we will see each other again, yes? Yeah. That'd Hopefully really not great. for a while. That is most fair. You seem to have been through quite an ordeal. Yeah, no, you know, it's, it's yeah. a bit of a fight, but it's, it's, it's okay. If you wish, I will send you home. Oh. That'd be yeah. great. Oh, what about passion? They're going to be really confused when we don't come back. Oh, yeah. They're going to think oh. we died. Before you head off to Elysium, do you um, 
do you mind maybe popping outside real quick and meeting our two guides who I think would be thrilled to meet you they're kind of big fans of yours they're descendants of your people of course Take it to me, Yes, here. yes, we do. Oh, also, don't be scared of the gigantic dragon turtle either. He's our friend. Oh, do you know him, by the way? Uh, you take Prince Hamukai, who is is, you know, up and awake. He's moving a little slowly. Um, more like a, a less like he's in pain or anything, and more like he is just like getting his bearings, um, because he doesn't remember the time he was asleep ostensibly he was asleep so you need a walking staff we've got that sleeping. extra we've got so many <laughs> extra he, he he is okay physically it's more it's more that just he is like uh taking in everything around him and kind of trying to do that like very he, he does everything very slowly and deliberately um but he he walks up the stairs and uh i i think there is like a gasp from him as he just kind of takes in the ruins of his city. Um, but he sees uh, Agrul, who has, I think, it, at this point gone to get <laughs> Shamir and Pesh and Old Stink, and so there's all sort of together and made sure they're all okay and nobody got caught in the storm. Uh, and uh, you see Algrul just kind of like sitting, kind of very, very, g as gently as a giant, huge tortoise can, uh, kind of on the edge of the, uh, the Mastaba. And um, Hamakai walks over to him and lays, uh, lays a hand on him. And you hear them, uh, I don't know that you can necessarily understand what they're saying. Hamakai is speaking very quietly, and Algrul, it's more of a grumble than it is words. Um, but they have some sort of conversation between the two of them, uh, and then you see Agro kind of lower his head, uh, and Hamukai just, like, very gently rests his forehead on the tortoise for a moment, um, and then pulls back and approaches, uh, Pesh and Shamir, who, uh, Shamir, I think, is trying to be very, um, respectful, but also, like, hold it together and Pesh is losing it absolutely losing his mind he's laughing he's smiling he's asking it's just rapid fire he's 16 rapid fire questions just any question that comes to his brain it's coming out of his mouth are they all appropriate no is Hamukai <laughs> answering all of them yes <laughs> uh, and he talks with them for for a for a while um and uh, yeah, it takes, takes a little bit of time, tells them the story of what happened. It, it matches up really, really well, uh, to the, the story they have. These are people that are based in oral tradition. They know how to do this and at least keep the important details there. Um, uh, and I think at the end of this conversation, uh, Hamakai just kind of lays a hand very, very gently on both of their shoulders and says something to them uh, in a language I don't think any of you understand. Um, and they both kind of nod. Uh, and he lets them go. Well, I suppose it is time for you to go home. Good luck out there. I hope Elysium well. is everything you hope it to be. I owe you, so perhaps I will come and visit. That'd be great. But that'd be really cool. Uh, uh, it's a magic school. You'd fit right in. Perhaps. Come. I will send you home. gathering close hey hey before you go um that was really cool what you did protecting all your people like that that was like a really 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 big sacrifice and stuff 
there aren't a lot of people that would have done that. And even fewer who call themselves royalty. When we are responsible for people, we owe it to them. Our protection, our kindness. What's the point? Sitting in an ivory tower, not knowing the people who built it. You sound like my dad. Oh, well, perhaps your dad's alright then. Well, he's dead, but when he was alive, he was great. I suppose mine is too. That's... We handle life one day at a time. Even if we're a couple of millennia late. Good luck on your journey. I will see you again, students. Uh, he puts out both of his hands, and again, there is this sort of just like warm, kind of very gentle feeling, kind of washes over you, and you close your eyes. And just as you blink them open again, you stand on the teleportation circle in the center of the biblioplex. Prince Hamukai's memoirs in hand. And that's where we're going to have to end because I have pushed us to end time today. And that is um, Alcazar's appendix. Whoa! Oh. Let's find. And next time, you guys have midterms. Uh. So we'll talk about that. And then also our next adventure that we are going to get up to because also, welcome to level 16, everybody. Woo! Uh, it is late. We're past time a little bit. Um, so I think we'll just wrap up there. You guys can, can celebrate each other with stars and wishes in the chat and all that. I know some people have to work tomorrow, including me. Um, so we won't, uh, push our time too much. But thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. We got to the end of the adventure and we're gonna start a new one next time. I'm very excited. Uh, we're gonna talk about interlude stuff and then we're gonna be doing the, uh, final Candlekeep Mystery, Xanthoria, um, which has, I would say, a little bit of a different tone from this one. Um, it's gonna be really fun, it's gonna be really interesting, uh, I'm just really excited to get to it. Um, but yeah, we will end it there. Um, if you guys in chat have any stars and wishes, please come hang out in our Discord and tell us about them. We have a whole channel just dedicated to our shows. Coming out with us, uh, celebrate us, celebrate these people, celebrate each other, uh, and uh, we will call an end to it. There, does anybody have anything they want to plug real quick before we go away? Just join us tomorrow for uh, yeah. Scum and Villainy. Scum and Villainy. Space Pirates! It's just as wholesome as this game. Definitely. No, it's not. It's Space Pirates. Uh, yeah, and then go follow our friends. Some of our friends <laughs> here. Space Pirates. Are, <laughs> definitely. Are going to be on their channels. Twitch.tv slash Hack Recklessly. A lot of us are over there. Twitch.tv slash Indoor Adventures. Wonderful, lovely friends of the channel. We have some friends that are going to be over there as well. So follow all of them. Uh, and until next week. And I'm so excited. Good game. And good night, Internet.